Hey guys, Peter Steele here, back with another video. Now with No Step Back releasing next month, I thought we would give the Soviet Union one last spin before their update, so let's go. 1936, Soviet Union, Iron Man mode and historical AI focuses, and we'll be trying for a bit of a challenge in this run. We will be going for the Iron Curtain. This was recently attempted by Alex the Rambler, I'm sure you all know and love him, and the challenge is to only use heavy tanks. So we cannot use anything that's not a heavy tank. Uh, that is going to be a bit of a challenge, so I hope to outperform what he tried, because that did not go particularly well. We're getting encircled. Oh gosh, the Iron Curtain's already falling apart. So my guess is I want to rush for heavy tanks so I can produce them as soon as possible. I will need to go ham on production, so I don't need that many mills at the start. So I'm going to convert mills into civilian factories. This is going to hurt my bottom line at the start, but it will allow me to really get things pumping as we ramp up to Barbarossa. We have time. Stalin constitution first and then I'll purge. We have time, like I said. These ships really don't matter. I'll need some infantry equipment. I'll need some support equipment. Toward artillery, sure. Light tanks are well, they're pretty much useless. I don't think I'll be going to play an air game. I don't think we have what it takes to contest the Germans in the air and still produce enough heavy tanks. I'm gonna abandon the air. This may very well prove to be an a disaster. I should be deleting these units. I will not be using them in combat, but I might need the army experience I can get out of them. I'm also going to build a bit of construction, mostly Orel, um, and Orenberg, no, Manitogorsk. Those give me a nice boost of steel. I will be needing a lot of steel for all this heavy tank production, so I'm going to build up that. And for the meantime, just mobilize as many civilian factories as we can. All right, we'll mobilize the Red Army, get ourselves some war support. The Turks should back down. All right, Stalin constitution done. I think I want to get the purge out of the way first and we can get rid of our toaster economy and move on to the best economy, the war economy. Yes, so that's just 5% free war support because Turkey always compromises on historical. Ah, Turkey. Outplayed, son, outplayed. I think I really need to go ham on doctrines which I'm not sure if I'm going to go mobile warfare or superior firepower. And I will need to focus on tanks and getting way ahead because the T-35 really is not a good tank. I want at least the KV-1 in production. So it's going to be industry and tanks. And it's going to be mostly concentrated industry. I want to keep pumping. All right, who do I purge? Just the usuals. Like Khrushchev is, is pretty useless. Why would I need communism support? I am communist doesn't get much more communist. All right, so I've decided that it's actually not fair for me to keep exercising these units. So I'm going to dismantle the entire Red Army. Uh, we'll build it back up from scratch. It's fine. We want to keep this a level playing field. All right, I'm going to be making tanks. So I want the tank guy. Now, before you start screeching in the comments, yes, many of my picks will not be optimal. I am just trying to have fun here, trying to do a little bit of a challenge. Yes, I'm going mobile warfare. Oh yeah, I want to keep Rokosovsky. Uh, so we'll get rid of Tokachevsky. Oh, there goes the Spanish Civil War. All right, I am going to send you a boatload of guns there. If they use our equipment, we will get some army experience out of this. It's very unlikely that nationalist Spain is going to lose because we're not going to be there to help the Spanish out or the Republicans out. So be it, uh, this will just put those guns to good use. All right, let's also shift into heavy tank production. Yes, this is just heavy ones and they're not great. I am very, very well aware of this, but it's better than nothing. All right, final purge. Who do I want to get rid of? Navy and Air Force, fine. All right, great purge is done. Let's go back to the industry. I'll get the factories first. Oh yeah, with the Spanish using my equipment, army experience is not going to be a problem. Though I doubt the nationalists are still capable of losing this. The Republicans just aren't that good. They should be pretty well equipped though. All right, do I want to go up to free trade? I think I do. All right, five year plan. I think I'll go for the research slot first. If I'm making mistakes, feel free to tell me in the comments. I'm sure you you won't be able to contain yourself anyway. All the way down to the extra research slot. I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna try getting mech. It's way, way ahead of time, but there's not much else I can research really. It might help our divisions be a little less shit. All right, 150 PP, Captain of Industry, yes please. 
We are building a lot of infrastructure and civilian factories now. We are reaching peak levels of civ greed. Now, I just had a bit of a think here. Maybe I should make some armored cars. They're pretty good for recon, though they are a bit of an investment. But I think, I think they'll pay off in the long run. It's not a huge commitment in terms of factories. I should probably be rushing for lessons of war. But then again, I, I have not been at war. All right. What is this? A tree for armor bonus? Yes. Yes, I'll take that. Ah, KV-1 way ahead of time, but it's still definitely worth it. Meanwhile, the Republicans are holding on. All those guns we've given them are giving them a fighting chance. Well, it's it's pretty much just prolonging the inevitable, but still, it's giving us a lot of army experience we can use. Speaking of, I should probably start designing a heavy tank division. I think 40 width is not realistic. Something like this is, is feasible, maybe? It's, it's only 20 combat width, but I think it will do for now. Especially if I switch in some armor variants for AA and uh, maybe some tank destroyers. Self-propelled guns, they do a lot of soft attack. Meanwhile, 3.4 million manpower on volunteer only. All glory to the Soviet Union. I think I want to head down here so I can get the, the Baltics and maybe get a little war going with Finland. And that would allow me to get lessons of war here. I also want engineers on these tanks. Maybe light armored recons. Port artillery and probably supply and signal companies. Yeah, and I won't add uh, support anti-air because I will get self-propelled anti-air heavy tanks. But we are seriously going to need to produce a lot more tanks than this. It is November 37, so I think once these finish, we should start militarizing a little bit more. That is a juicy amount of civilian factories, though. Oh, baby. I think once I've reached this focus, I should start uh, ramping up the military. Yeah, that's gonna make the civilian conversion a lot quicker so I can get a lot of mills out really quickly. I'm gonna start training a few of these tank divisions. Uh, it is going to take a while before we actually are able to produce a lot of them, but slowly, slowly, we'll get there. Again, if I'm making stupid mistakes, feel free to tell me so. I look forward to being called an idiot in the comments. At least stability is looking pretty tight. Can probably use some more political power in the future to build up the uh, military high command. Maybe get a uh, military theorist that will allow me to get doctrines quicker. And doctrines are gonna help a lot, considering we will not have a vast army. There go our friends in Madrid. Oh well, I gave you all the guns in the world. It still was not enough. All right, it's August of 38. I'm gonna yeet out a few military factories just to get going. Soon I can also start converting civilian factories if I wanted to. I may be doing this too early. I'm not that well versed in the technique. Kosovsky can lead the tanks. Zukov can be my field marshal. Starting to make mechanized now as well. So I can slowly start adding that. And then, of course, pump out heavy tanks by the millions, billions, trillions. As many tanks as humanly possible. All right, heavy tank two. Brilliant. Uh, I'm gonna get tank variants as well. Definitely gonna need the AA variant. And then maybe the self-propelled gun or the tank destroyer variant because it requires fewer tanks per division. I think we'll go mobile infantry. Oh great, Japanese provocation at our border. That means that border incident's gonna happen. I know it's pretty much irrelevant, but I'm gonna set it up anyway. I have a couple of these tanks here on the border to see if it actually does anything. All right, logistics companies. Let's also get signal companies. Add these to the, uh, well, one division template we are using. Yeah, that border conflict's uh, definitely going our way, Japan. All right, was nice knowing you. And everyone back to the other front. Free bonus. Didn't have to do anything for it. Of course, I'm still desperately short thousands of tanks. Pressure is slowly mounting. So the military factories are being pumped out as we speak. Let's get our armor genius in as well. Hmm. Could have done the industrial concern first, though. Oh, well, mistakes were made. All right, that's the AA variant research. Can I go for the next level of heavy tank? No, let's let's not. Uh, all right, let's make those next. Heavy self-propelled anti-air. I think five will do. Oh, wow, I'm short on chromium. Maybe I should build up some of my chromium supplies. Sure, we'll sign the treaty. I don't think it matters 
Yeah, we'll buy some time. Meanwhile, better logistics companies or maybe even better engineer com... Mm, better engineers means I get more entrenchment. Actually, better industry means I get more stuff made. Yeah, I've let my industry lapse a little. That's not smart. I'll make a few more changes to this template. Place one of these with heavy self-propelled anti-air. And add some single companies. Yes, I know I'm short a lot of equipment. It's fine, we'll fix it. And I'll add one unit of mechanized. Focus is finished. Uh, prove the Stalin line. Head for those nice war goals. All right, so the KV-2 is also researched. Uh, let's keep going for industry okay and upgrade the heavy tank twos as much as we can what do i want to upgrade here i think the armor uh or the guns just don't want to lose too much reliability all right there goes world war ii fine why did it bypass all of this how what is this somehow bug because it, it bypassed claims of the baltic baltic security claims on poland claims on bessarabia and i could just demand eastern poland why uh fine armament effort then i guess all right ultimatum so at least it still works all right i'm gonna remove one more heavy tank and convert one into the heavy self-propelled artillery all right so this is a 20 width unit of heavy tanks with one self-propelled aa self-propelled artillery three heavy tanks and then five um motorized and mechanized i'll i'll switch these around as i get more this is the template that we will be riding into battle with, or at least we'll try. I'm not sure this is gonna work, but we'll try. All right, so that's the Baltics. Let's just line up on Finland next. They'll probably say no, but I'll crush them. These are not optimal. Far East is irrelevant. Tanatuva is irrelevant. All of these bypassed, so I can't do them anyway. Aviation cult, I'm going for nowhere. Soviet realism, I don't think that's all that impressive. I'll save that for later in case I need a quick a quick 120 PP. No, I think I'm just gonna go with construction engineering and pump out as many military factories as I can as quickly as possible. And Finland says no, that's great. We'll just declare, it's fine. And I'll, I'll let this battle plan sort itself out. Yes, Finland's just gonna walk around up here. That doesn't matter. I'll just rush their victory points, crush their units. All right, that's Helsinki. I just need to snipe their victory points, really. All right, Finland offers concession. Um, I don't need all of Finland. There, that's good. Uh, that means we can now do lessons of war. Great. Now uh, you can start setting up our defenses. I'll split this army in half. Konyev? Konyev is a good general. This is just going to be the standard Dnieper line defense. It's just going to be incredibly thin. Instead of building all of these, I'm going to let some of them finish. I'm going to start conversions. Converting sieves into mills is going to be a lot quicker than having to build them myself. Now, this does hurt our civilian industry. But we must pay the price if the Soviet Union is to survive. Germany keeps getting bigger. It is mildly concerning because my army is definitely not ready yet. Just perpetually out of steel and chromium. Thought we had more, but I should probably ease off of free trade and go to limited exports. Hold on to more of our stuff. Right, that is going to be lessons of war finished. And I think I'll just go back to building uh, yeah, construction. Unless I want to rush down to closed city network. Mm, an extra research slot, but it's a bit late. No, 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 no. I think construction engineering is what we'll want. Uh, I can just imagine the conversations going on in Soviet high command. With Germany conquering the continent and Stalin still going, No! I want nothing but heavy tank divisions. Nothing else will be built. Well, the thin red line is slowly taking shape. Uh, the Germans give us a little bit more time. We can actually pull this off. I am frantically building more of these divisions, but the industry, the industry needs to keep up. It's mostly self-propelled artillery and heavy tanks that I'm lacking. I think I should have gone with tank destroyers instead of these self-propelled guns. Tank destroyers are smaller in terms of battalion size, so I would need fewer of them. Oh. oh. Yeah, Germany's cancelled the non-aggression pact. Oh, they're gonna come my way and I'm not ready. The line is almost fully covered though, so just a, a little more time, Germany. A little more time. Okay, so the front line is fully manned. There's a single division on every tile at least. I'm gonna um, prioritize reinforcing what's in the field. And building more units, of course, continues. Uh, my butt cheeks. My butt cheeks are clenched. <laughs> I do not have high hopes for this. I'm going to do a little bit of exercising, just so these units aren't green, but I definitely do not have high hopes for this. <laughs> I cocked this one up massively. Oh, man. I could build a little bit of a fort line behind this river, though 
I, I don't think that is going to make all that much of a difference. 13 heavy tanks a day. I still don't think it's going to be enough. 1941, so Germany is going to come for me in spring, I believe. Uh, I am a lot of heavy tanks and self-propelled artillery short before I can deploy those last few divisions. Yeah, if I'd gone with tank destroyers, I would probably be in much better shape. Oh well, it is what it is. Not much I can do about that right now. Still, I've got a respectable army in the field, I think. I feel it's a bit of a respectable army. Yes, I probably shouldn't be exercising it, but I don't want green divisions. They do so poorly in combat. Yeah, I think a non-aggression pack with Japan is the cautious move right now. I, I don't even think I have enough to take on Germany, let alone two fronts. Yeah, that is one thin red line. Probably a little bit too little, too late, but I'm just gonna add a few forts to this. Just to give me a little bit of an edge and in that initial contact with the Wehrmacht. Well, at least every division in the field is pretty much equipped by now. That's an achievement on its own. I'm gonna hold on to this 150 PP. Wanna go up to total mobilization when Germany strikes. Military high command is filled. I've got all the support I can realistically get. Maybe an industrial concern, but I don't think any of that is gonna matter. Uh, yes, total mobilization just might help us squeeze out a few more tanks. Oh, there goes Yugoslavia. Bye-bye. Oh, look at that. Our deficit of heavy tanks is almost gone. It's actually just self-propelled artillery and motorized I'm lacking. That's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. Maybe I can switch in another mech. Okay, Germans are justifying now, so uh, they are coming. Come on. Produce, produce, produce. Ooh, I can make the IS tank. Ah, uh, do I want to already, though? They have more armor. They're pretty much better in every way, even though I upgraded these KV-1s. So I'll just make the IS tanks. That is going to require so much more steel, though, but that's okay. I'll just get it from the Americans. There goes the Molotov Ribbentrop back, so Germany can be here. I have a lot of divisions ready to go. I just need mechanized. Oh, great. Now my construction line's messed up and I can't see it. That's annoying. Maybe I need to fill it up again. Does that work? Oh yeah, that, that works. And there comes Germany. All right, so we got 36 divisions along the Dnieper line. <laughs> I don't think I can hold this. Okay, total mobilization. Squeeze out every little bit you can. Oh, I don't think I can hold this. Oh, please, factories. Please squeeze these last few divisions out. I am about to get my teeth kicked in. Well, first bubbles I'm seeing are green. Yeah, still green, still green. Oh yeah, we got a lot of defense going on here. Okay, so these lines are... Lines, I say lines, it's just the one line. But <laughs> it is holding against the onslaught. So maybe this works? Not even seeing my org dip too much. I am cautiously optimistic that the Iron Curtain is actually going to hold. Just finish these production lines. Why isn't it working? Oh, oh, this one's breaking. Uh, I'm gonna meme it. I'm just gonna quickly meme it. Last stand. There, you can hold. Um, just setting a front line and waiting for it to finish is not gonna work. So I am going to deploy troops. I'm just gonna deploy the army now. Screw it. Those are deployed. And I'll train, let's see, 5, 10, 16 more. Yeah, all I'm seeing is green bubbles. I think I can confidently say this Iron Curtain will hold. We will hold until we are ready for the counterattack. <laughs> oh, there's just a line of heavy tanks meeting the German advance. Well, and the Romanian advance, but Romania is irrelevant. I'm very pleasantly surprised by this because when I watched Alex do this and fail horribly, sorry Alex, I didn't think I'd be able to do it. But seeing just how much stuff you can pump out as an industrialized Soviet Union just... Also, it, it helps that I'm sitting on the Dnieper line and not in Poland because if you try to hold the border with Germany, you're, you're gonna have a bad time. That doesn't doesn't work. Trust me. Now, I can pretty much sit here and watch the enemy run into my lines forever. I've lost 8,000 men. 8,000. I've got 56 divisions and I've inflicted hundreds of thousands of casualties on the enemy already. Just sitting there in my heavy tanks, shooting the enemy as they approach. You know, while they are just running into my lines, I'm gonna dick around with spies a little. I think I'll get some collaboration governments going on Germany. Uh, that should make our counterattack a little less of a headache. Just gotta keep an eye on my front so I don't accidentally, you know, um, lose a tile when I'm not paying attention. 
But all in all, I think this should be stable. Excellent. Glorious Mongolia and Great Tanutuva have joined the fray. It's all over for the Germans now. None can stand against Tanutuva. It is pretty shocking just how much equipment you can pump out as the Soviets. I, I hadn't expected this to go this well. Mm. I might just pick combined arms because... Uh, where's my division? There's... Yeah, yeah, I think combined arms expert actually is better considering the way my divisions are built. Oh, I see red bubble. Oh, never mind, it turned green. These guys aren't even losing all that much org. Ah, uh, this feels good. Now I know how Stalin felt in 44. I can't even execute Order 227. I've not lost enough of my country yet. <laughs> Oh well, let's expand some more mines, I guess. Uh, we are thoroughly in control here. Just gonna wait until I can, you know, build a few more tanks, watch them lose ever more manpower, and then just come at them with a giant mechanized gauntlet. When I strike back, oh, they're gonna feel it. I like that over the last 12 months, our divisions literally have a 100% win ratio. We've not lost a single combat. We've barely lost any equipment compared to the enemy. <laughs> oh my god. Just look at them burning manpower. Our losses are like nothing. 22 manpower. 10 manpower. Nothing. Meanwhile, Germany's lost uh, 600,000 men already. Like, we've inflicted massive casualties and we've lost 11,000 Soviet men. They were very brave, very precious men. Because of our very low manpower, I've had to encase every single one of my soldiers into one of these gigantic steel behemoths. Seems to be working. Mm. I could get modern tanks like way ahead of time, but I don't. I don't know if a modern tank counts as a heavy tank. Like, for, I think for the purposes of the challenge, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to use them. I think, but I'm going to research them because why not? Romania is even afraid to walk all the way to my front line because they know they know only pain awaits. There we go. More divisions. I think that's three full armies now. I could get more. I can always get more. Let's train another 24 of these. I don't think these are going to be ready anytime soon. This is very well in hand. I, the Germans aren't gonna do anything to me. They are not gonna break these lines. Like, realistically, this is an iron wall. This isn't an iron curtain. This is a wall right here. Well, I panicked when I saw only 2 million manpower there, but I remembered we are on uh, war, no, total mobilization, and I haven't done women in the workforce. Should I? I don't need to. I don't need to, so I'm not gonna bother. Oh, Japan cancels the non-aggression pact. I don't think Japan's gonna be a problem for much longer, especially not if I give uh, China some guns. By the time this is over, these generals are gonna need extensions on their breasts just to hold all these medals. Allies are already counter-attacking, so this may be a very short-lived German Reich. March of 1942, and that is a complete stalemate. I think when I counter-attack, I will just walk to Berlin. I don't think they have anything to stop me. Yeah, allies are just landing with impunity. Germany doesn't have the troops to deal with my front, the Greek front, the Yugoslav front that they never managed to collapse. And now there's naval landings in the Netherlands and in France. So, oh, well, China's also wrecking Asia. So that's good. I sent them 15,000 guns, by the way. That helps. For some reason, I can execute order 227. Did, did I get invaded somewhere and missed it? No, no. Oh, it must have been this victory point that I finally walked into. You know, I'll, I'll execute order 227. Hey, first collaboration government was a success. Let's prepare the next one. Yep. Oh, this is just taking a little too long for my tastes. But when that army finishes, I'll add it to the queue. And then four armies should be enough to just, just draw a field marshal order over the German Reich and hit go. We will crush them. Do I have another tank general? I thought I would have another... Uh, yes, but he's not that great. Alright, that is four full armies of heavy tank divisions. I think we can start thinking <laughs> about a counterattack. Let's see if we can just destroy this. These divisions are tougher than I thought, but only on the surface, really. One downside is that we are still behind that river. That is keeping us safe. And it's also making it a little bit annoying to actually attack. Yeah, the river crossing penalty is pretty harsh. Hey, first pocket of the campaign. Gotta start somewhere, right? Alright, let's crush that. Ah, another juicy pocket. Feel sorry for the AI, but they've managed to cock up so badly. <laughs> like, they deserve everything that's coming. Just right-clicking their divisions. Nothing's gonna... No, nothing's gonna stop me on my way to Berlin now. 
And another encirclement? Is it? Is it happening? It... Oh, they managed to get a division in there in time, but we'll get it this time. Come on. Ah, there we go. I think that is um, the Romanian army dealt with. Oh, that is a lot more red bubbles than I was expecting. Maybe I need a little bit of an edge here. Let's just uh, set some ciphers. Yes, the red army is the strongest. I do risk massive overextension this way, though. <laughs> I don't have that many... Div oh, my, my fuel! <laughs> What's happening to my fuel? No! No! I need oil. Okay, let's uh, let's halt this. I, I cannot deal with eight days of fuel. Let's just uh, pretty few more encirclements, destroy some more divisions. Let's ease into this. Oh, Kiev is liberated. Bye bye. Oh, so many Germans gone. Ah, good. That is another massive German pocket to destroy. Bye bye. Bye bye, Germany. Yeah, this is still massively expensive in terms of fuel, but at least it's manageable if I do this in smaller sections. If I just send the entire line forward, I just, I cannot afford that. I, I don't have that much fuel. Oh, this is a lot of divisions. Oh my god. Oh, Russia shouldn't be this strong, but it is. Yeah, that's another pocket. Let's destroy that. Perfect. This is almost cleaned up. This is a lot of divisions though. Wow, that's 12, 13. So that is 25, 26, 27, 28 divisions encircled there. Let's try that again. Ah, this is looking a lot greener. Yeah, this this really isn't going to be difficult at all. Frontline may be getting a little bit too wide though. I won't be able to cover all of it. And I will run out of fuel soon, so maybe I should... Uh, hmm. Import some from my American friends. Ah, the Socialist Republic of Bulgaria. Yeah, Romania's done for. Bulgaria is going to be done for soon. Ah, there goes Romania. They fell apart spectacularly. This is so stupid, I can't believe it actually works. But it does. It does work. It works so very well. Oh, oh, did I manage to get a tank encircled? No, 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 no. Unacceptable. Yeah, I'm going to halt the overall offensive because I am most... Definitely out of oil once again. Just gonna redeploy, create some. Ooh, I can create a very nice encirclement here if the game's willing to work with me. Let's encircle that section of the German lines. Come on, come on, work with me. That's another massive cauldron or a Kessel or a Motti. No, a bit big for a Motti. Meanwhile, Germany's not doing too well in the West either. Neither is Italy. And with that, the Red Army is at the gates of Warsaw already. God, I'm having so much fun here. Oh, just look at those divisions disappear. Look at them. Oh. And they're gone. All gone. If I were German High Command in this situation, I would be clenching my butt cheeks. So that's two collaborations done. I think that's enough for Germany. I will need a little more fuel before I make another all-out offensive. So let's stick with a few smaller encirclements or attempted encirclements. I honestly didn't think I would be having this much fun. The counterattack is always the best part, but oh boy, is this satisfying. Oh, the casualties in this are just so lopsided. 62,000 Soviet men have lost their lives, but we've killed 4.2 million Germans and a few hundred thousand Romanians and Hungarians. Another big pocket here. Meanwhile, I saw Italy struggling, as Italy does. Oh yeah, <laughs> Italy's gone. <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. Oh, that is so many divisions. Just disappearing. Strangely soothing. The amount of manpower they are losing is absurd. Germany is still putting up quite the fight, but it's definitely not going to be enough. All right, I'm, I'm tired of waiting. I'm going to drive to Berlin. The Allies are making too many gains for my tastes. Let's just get our asses to Berlin. The Soviet army is going to end this, not the Allies. Definitely not the Allies. All right, truck to Berlin. Everybody, truck to Berlin. Hmm, do I want a Yalta conference? Sure, let's get a Yalta. Nice and historical. There goes the German Reich. Alright, I ask the French for military access so we can finish off the darn Italians. Send my troops over, crush them, be done with it. Ah, the Americans got there first. Oh well. Yeah, this peace deal doesn't really matter. I'll just liberate some stuff. Satellite East Germany, satellite Czechoslovakia. Okay, so after that peace deal, I think we managed some fairly, well, fairly clean borders. We got some puppets, the Balkan Socialist Union, the Czechoslovak Union, and East Germany. Poland's still around, but they don't have a lot of their stuff, and I'm not inclined to give it back. All in all, that was a very enjoyable experience playing as heavy tank Russia. We hardly took any losses. If we look at this, over the last year, 73,000 men were lost. 
and our divisions won 98% of all combat. We hardly lost any equipment. Most of what we lost was by attrition compared to what the enemy lost. Yeah. Anyway, that is that challenge complete. The Iron Curtain stands dominant over Europe. The Soviet Union reigns supreme. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing and check out this next video. I'm sure you'll love it. I picked it just for you. This is me, Bitter Steel, out.